and I'm looking for a job again. I'm in China nearly five years and I've been working in these private training schools and I've been in this type of school all throughout my time in China. It's great for flexibility, allows you to go home for two weeks every year. It's great for cash. I've never seen any other work for a foreigner in China that pays this well. But unfortunately the industry is getting restricted. I've seen so many schools around where I live just closed down because of financial issues. Some new policies are also affecting how schools operate. So it makes life just a little bit more difficult. And that is why last year I took that jump to go to a more secure school just to ride out the wave. Unfortunately, the wave is too big and I feel like I'm not even safe in the school I'm at now. I don't think any of these private training schools are safe anymore. That is why when I'm finished this contract, I'm hoping to go to a primary school and secondary school. That's where I wanna work. And that is why today I'm going shopping to get dressed up. I can't find like a shop that sells just dress clothing. At least I'm on the right floor. So I found the place in the shopping center that has all of the nicely dressed clothing. One shop stood out because she said hello. So I'm still a bit iffy filming people in public. So I'll, uh, I'll ask her if she's cool on camera. So yeah, I'll uh, go up to the shop and see if they're cool with me filming. So just there, two security men just came up to me. They saw, obviously, they saw the camera, and I knew that was game over for the for the vlog. Tomorrow I'm back at work, and I need to have something filmed today. I was very persistent that I wanted to film. There's no difference between filming on a big camera like this or someone filming with a phone. After talking through what it was about. 30 minutes of translating, he asked me to follow him to the back office. I just explained to him that it's just some videos that you know I can look back on. That's what really these videos are for. Like I don't expect anything from these, but it's just I have footage for the last couple of years, just load of video from the past few years that I don't have from the year before I came out here. I can look back at everything. I photographs, videos. Okay, I do need to buy like SSDs every month. I guess if I want to look up some footage, it's gonna take a long time to find it, but I have it somewhere. And, and that's, that's kind of why I want to do these videos. And of course, to show a bit of this Chinese life, some people enjoy it, so yeah. And I enjoy editing the videos too. So anyways, your man brought me out in the back. He, he was cool about it. Like he, he was pretty patient with uh, his translating app, which, just had a load of issues. He didn't know how to use a phone. And then I got an official uh, pass to film here. So I guess I'm media now. And I guess from now on, if I want to play the game, I have to play it by the rules. It's 4.20 now. So I want to quickly go over there. Just afraid that it's going to cost a lot of money. So I don't want to spend too much money on this brand. Younger, we'll see. The shirts and pants that I want to buy, but I don't know how much they're gonna be. Oh, yo, yeah. they are pricey. 700, that's like 100 euro. And what's the quality like? It looks like I could be the, the only customer today. I'm looking 
for like a more of a blue. This this is okay. Yeah, okay. I'll try it on. How about how? Oh, younger. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Cool. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. get a haircut and I think I might go to the shopping center because I need to get a few bits and bobs.